it's all about the, the status of, of the populations, and it's all about also the ecological footprint of, of fisheries, which we're concerned about. Uh, all the way from water usage, fuel usage, to uh, what we call bycatch, which are species that are caught uh, accidentally and incidentally to uh, uh, fishing, fishing for, t for tuna. All those, uh, all those concerns need to, need to be answered in a positive way. The whole underpinning of everything is that the scientific advice that's given is as good as it can be based upon the comp as comprehensive as the data can be, and then it's adopted and enforced in its purest form as, as directly linked to science as possible. One of the most promising things in our field right now is a partnership that we've created between GEF, WWF, the FAO, and the leading uh, industry players through the ISSF, where we've come together to look at the issue of tuna. We have come together to send signals that we won't buy tuna unless there's a barcode on every fish, a barcode on every boat, and you can track the fishing practices that landed that fish and delivered it to our table. And those are the kind of signals we need to send if we're going to save the oceans and save the tuna and save the fish in the sea. We can't do it all ourselves by standing on the outside beating a drum or uh, advocating for positions. We do that, of course, uh, but we may get much greater advances if we can uh, work very closely with like-minded partners that are actually part of the system that we're trying to, trying to change. The goal is to engage consumers to help drive that change in the market, but to get to a market in which the fish you find in the store is all sustainable. So we're not trying to get to a market in which you have a choice between sustainable fish and unsustainable fish. We're trying to get to a market in which, just like all electronic products are safe, all fish is sustainable. I think consumers need to voice to restaurants, their grocery stores, the fish market, that they care. Um, because it, it's only when they hear it from their ultimate customers, the consumer, that then they're going to start caring. Consumers benefit because they don't have shortages in, in, in the short term. Uh, their children benefit because the supply will be there for them as well. Mm -hmm.